is going to show more of the work on the flame engine, but I wanted to just let this one video go ahead of time because it's real small. Uh, I wanted to do two things. One, for the newbie or whatever it's worth, I wanted to show how I make screws on the mini lathe. They're little bitty brass guys, three millimeter threads. So you'll see doing that but I didn't show the very end of it because the end is once the screw is parted off it goes in a thread protector, it goes in the mill, center is found and then I use the print that I've got on the website to make the spanner head uh, so you just walk it off and on but um, I did one test run on it and as it was drilling the screw turned in the thread protector, it wasn't tight enough and it almost broke the drill bit, but uh, what I'm going to do, I've ordered an XY table for the drill press. Because that small a bit, I just cannot feel it with uh, the mill. So I want to just spot drill the holes, take it over to the regular drill press, and then finish the holes off to death. Uh, so you're going to see that all happening. But the, other, the second thing that I wanted to do is I'm going to try a voiceover. So I've got the camera in super close and there's not going to be any sound, just my voice. So I wanted to see how I could do a voiceover and how it would come out. So here it is. Hope you guys like it. Simple quarter inch piece of brass is mounted up. Going to just face it off here um, using the TCMT Cobra Carbide insert, which is meant for aluminum, but it does a beautiful job on brass even though brass is not supposed to like uh, a rake or a relief angle on the tool you can see it just comes out really nice looks good next up put the saddle stop in place we're going to do a depth of cut manually here for um, the threads so I've got the screw there that um, I'm going to duplicate the depth, so I'm just trying to come down a little bit shy of depth because I'll do a final face cut after taking the diameter down to three millimeters. And here's the bringing it down, just saddle goes back and forth by hand, finish doesn't matter at this point. I'm going to do the final finishing cut with the compound and you'll see it goes in hits the face and then I come out to clean the face up and get it to final depth so this is just going back and forth real quick almost at depth so I gotta start checking it uh, three millimeters I want to be around 118 thousandths looks like it was in millimeters so switch it over to inches and take a look at it. Yep, got a ways to go here. So start making some cuts deeper now using the compound to keep the finish really nice. There's the face cut. Cleaning it up, getting it to the final length for threading. Sometimes it gets tricky. I probably didn't I should have used the magnifying glass at this point to get my depths right, but there it is. Um, almost done. One last check. 1195. Close enough for government work, so let's thread this thing. Oh, actually, I'm going to do the uh, face the outside for the outside of the screw which is just basically trimming it up and getting a nice clean surface for it. Next up, chamfer it. Just want to barely kiss that edge just to take the sharpness off of it. Give it kind of a nice look to the naked eye. And next up, we're going to chamfer um, the very edge for the threads to give it a nice look. 
Now this part's extremely dangerous in that, not dangerous to you, but it can grab, I've had it grab many times and just snap the piece off when it's that small or bend it. So I'm coming in incredibly slow, a thousandths at a time. I want to go in about five thousandths to just give it, like I said, a nice edge when you thread the thing. And luckily it didn't grab on this time. Time to thread it. Three millimeter uh, die, three threading dies in my holder. Tap magic goes on, a little bit of force. Headstock in the back is on low gear, just push it in. Eyeball it till it's almost at the bottom and put it reverse, pull it off. And I don't think you can see, there's a lot of reflections, but they're gorgeous threads. So again, I love working with brass. Clean it up a little bit while it's in reverse. And it's time to part it off. Take the other uh, sample screw and set it to a little bit deeper so I've got some material that I can face it off when I turn it around in the thread protector and clean the face up and here we go this is the new lay or the old lay everything is so tight no chatter a little bit of A9 goes on there why not keep the heat down keep the friction down from the sides and it just goes straight in and brass is so easy easier than aluminum you can just push it in like five thousandths per second and it just goes right in with no problem and almost to the end here clean it up a little bit hold it there's no sound but you can tell when you're parting when you're real real close to being at the end gets to be a higher pitch just like hacksawing you can hear the pitch go up on the saw almost there there it is done beautiful part ready for facing